Okay, now it's time to start to put in some of our internal fixtures, um, such as kitchen cabinets and bathrooms and uh, laundry. So we, I'm going to start with the kitchen here. We're going to build a, a small kitchen just in this corner here. And um, to do that, I'm going to start by putting, starting to put the cupboards in. So if I come up to Architect Component and have a look in this list. Now we, as I've told you before, this template has a number of families that have been loaded into it and they move with the template. So you can see that we have a series of base cabinets here. If I wanted to find another one, I could go on edit type and load and find the casework folder and here are a number of different cabinets and so forth that you could choose from as well. Likewise, if you had downloaded some cabinets from a cabinet manufacturer, they had actually produced some Revit family drawings and, and allow you to download it, you could put those into your uh, families folder and go and select it from there. But in reality, there should be enough within this template to cover what we want. So I'm going to start off by using a, a sorry, I want a corner one. Start with a corner. Uh, and you can see we... If we hit the tab key, we can rotate that around. That goes for all, all of these things that you want to bring in. So I'm going to put that one there, hit escape, go up, pick a two-door cabinet. Again, swing it around. I'm going to pop that one in next to there. And I'm going to swing it around another way and pop another one in there. Hit escape again. Another corner cabinet after we swing it around a couple of times and pop that one in next to there escape again this time I want to go back to a two door you can see I'm having trouble here because it won't line up so I'm going to hit escape a couple of times what I want to do is actually have a little wall that goes across here you may have seen them in houses it's called a peninsula um, and so I'm going to go into architecture wall I'm going to pick just the basic stud wall that's up there, my ground floor, but our top constraint I'm going to change to unconnected and I'm going to make it 1200. So that little wall will only be 1200 high. Come in and start from this corner and I'm just going to draw it out level with the end of the kitchen there at this stage. And just hit escape, come out of that one, go back into our components. Now when we Pick our two-door cupboard. You'll see that that will latch onto that wall. And we want one more, but I'll put that in after I've put a couple of single cupboards in. Uh, come in and pick a single door. We'll put a single door in next to there. And we also want to put a stove in over here, so I'm going to come down and I'm going to find, I think it's called range. Some of these are imperial measurements because that's I've got them from other places. Turn that one around so that the backing is towards the wall. Put that in place. Come back. I'm going to put a couple more cupboards in. Two door over here. And a single door. On, just spin that around on the end of here. Cool. Hit escape a couple of times. That'll allow us enough room to put our fridge in on the end here. Okay, so uh, I'm going to let you put that fridge in. Now, this wall's a little bit long. I only want to come out to this cupboard. It's just simply a matter of selecting that wall, grabbing its toggle, and dragging that back in. Okay, I want to have a look at this in so I can see what it's looking like in 3D. Now the way we can do that is come up into where we normally go for our 3D view but if we click on the down arrow you have a little thing called camera and if we come over in this corner of the room and click and then drag out we will actually get a camera's view of that and you can see that we've got our kitchen starting to take place there now. If we get a bit of colour into that just have a little look and see what it's looking like. Um, probably want some consistent colours. So it's, it's looking quite nice there. Probably needs some cupboards along this wall eventually and a range hood over the stove, but I'm going to leave that up to you to play around with that and you should be 
putting in as much as you think is, is necessary for your kitchen. So I'll come back to our ground floor view and I want to now start to put some tops on these cabinets. So if we come in uh, to component again, we will have counter tops somewhere here. And the first one I'll put in is the L-shaped countertop. And just spin that around using our shift key. Uh, there we go, we can put that one in that corner. There. If you hit escape a couple of times, you'll see that you can now select that and it has some some handles on it that you can move around. Now I'm going to move that handle right down to the edge of the, the top here. Might even move it down a little bit more there. Where's my grip? There it is. Just leave it up a little bit there. Um, and now I'll bring another another one in same thing spin that around and we want it to there you can see how it's got double lines that's the backing that's what the bit that goes up against the walls so we'll pop that one in there just hit escape a couple of times select it again and we can drag this up till it reaches the end of that one and this one i'm going to drag in till it's just lining up with again the same thing might have to zoom in here, just lining up with the end of that one. We'll just stick out a little bit, but that's okay. So now we're ready to put in just some straight countertops. We want a bit of straight countertop here, and we want a bit of straight countertop there. Okay, when I go in to find a straight bit of countertop, it comes up as 24 inch, which um, won't mix in with the ones that we've used on the other tops we'll, we'll put this one in first which is a one with a sink in it that that fits okay so we can put that one over there but we want to finish off this little bit over here um, with a straight bit of cleaning top so we've got all the way around all the way around it's not a problem it's just this little part over here so if we go and find the straight top which is here you'll see we'll just have to spin that around because it's around the wrong way um, that's actually fitting so that's it's pretty good fit so we'll bring that in and now we can just escape a couple of times select it and drag that into the end like so again if we go in and have a look at our 3d view now it'll be the new 3d view that you have here you can see that we look we can see that our countertops are now on with a bit of a splash back around the outside we can put a fridge in there uh, the only other thing we want to do is put some sort of countertop across the top of that as well. So let's have a look at that and, and do that. We'll go back into our ground floor. We'll pick a component. We don't want a countertop with a bit a splash back on it. There should be another one in here just called countertop, counter island. Here it is here. And that's just a flat one. Uh, we will have to change the levels here. Now we know it's we've got to offset that up to 1200. And we'll put it, you won't be seeing this at the moment because it's, it's above our clipping range. And let's just see what happens if we go into 3D and have a look at that. And it's put it right up there for some reason. That's a bit weird. Uh, let's have a look at where it should be. Why is it not? Okay, let's just take that out and see what happens. Just need to put the zero in there. And that's actually putting it at the right height there. So we could probably just go up a little bit, uh, which will be the thickness of it. So 40. And there we are. Now, if we come back in, we should be able to see that there now. There it is. And we can adjust it to whatever we want. So I'm just going to bring it over that way a little bit. 
I'm going to have a little bit sticking out over the top of the wall and we'll bring it all the way down to the end. Okay, let's have a look at that and see what it looks like in our 3D now. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So, oops, we've got something up in space there. Just delete that one. So we've got all our countertops in. We've got our stove. We've got our uh, wash basin and so forth in. Um, we should be able to spin around and eh, can't really get in there. But you can see see how we've we've set that up. Now, what I suggest is that you go in and put some wall cabinets on there. Remember, you'll have to go into your components and then your um, edit type and go in and actually load some of those up because they will be in the casework here, uh, wall cabinets. And there's a whole heap there that you can see. You can add whatever you want to in there. And I suggest you just maybe put some down along this wall here and maybe a range hood find that in the in the families and put a range hood in there as well so get that completed and then next we'll go on to put some components into our bathroom